God of War Ascension, Nintendo, and Star Wars versus Zelda. I'm Chloe Dykstra. And I'm Michelle Morrow. And you're watching Chicks with Joysticks. Trap yourself in, boy. Kratos, star of the God of War series, is no stranger to controversy, but a PSN trophy in the latest game may be causing the most outrage in the franchise's history. After a boss fight in which Kratos brutalizes a scantily clad woman, eventually impaling her on a spike, players earn a trophy named Bros Before Hose. Oh. Troubling. In Sony's defense, the woman Kratos battles is evil and taunts him throughout the fight scene, but that isn't stopping fans and prominent game reviewer Adam Sessler from being outraged by the blatant misogyny. Is it misogynistic? Sure, absolutely. Has the entire series been misogynistic this whole time? Yes! So why now? Maybe it's part of the bro culture backlash we've been reporting in the past that's been causing developers to rethink the personality of their games, like Army of Two Devils Cartel. Could be. Either way, Sony's already taking action against the controversy, releasing an update for God of War Ascension that changes the name of the trophy to something more PC. The impalement stays, though. Yay! <laughs> Nintendo's been suffering for months from weak Wii U sales, and now a federal jury is adding insult to financial injury. The publisher was found guilty last week of infringement upon Tomita Technologies, who patented the Nintendo 3DS's glasses-free theft. The suit, filed by former Sony employee Sejiro Tomita, has been ongoing since 2011. Nintendo will have to pay 30.2 million bucks in damages, but luckily won't have to stop manufacturing the 3DS or its game. Oh, well, not a great way to start 2013 for the House of Mario. Not at all. And finally, a major leak occurred last week when Star Wars First Assault was accidentally revealed. The first person downloadable shooter looks more than a little bit like a reskinned Call of Duty that has a very mysterious future. According to sources for Kotaku, First Assault was actually completed last year before the sale of LucasArts to Disney. Now, like Star Wars 1313 and Battlefront 3, its release is uncertain. Disney recently canceled the Clone Wars animated series and delayed Seth Green's Star Wars detours in an effort to reshape the franchise's public image before the release of Episode 7. They've apparently made no final decision on any LucasArts games, leaving a lot of developers feeling like they're stuck in a limbo. But whether it winds up released or not, here's what we know about First Assault so far. It's a Call of Duty-inspired multiplayer game in which two eight-person squads, representing the Rebels or the Stormtroopers, face off in classic Star Wars locations. There won't be any vehicles or mounts like in the Battlefront games, but if uh, First Assault were to be popular, it would result in the release of Battlefront 3. There's no telling what Disney will choose to do next with LucasArts and the games they were developing, but we can only hope it won't be long before we can get our hands on this sweet looking game. Anyway, that's it for today's show. But make sure to follow us on Twitter. At Skydark. At Michelle Morrow. And check back next week for the hottest gaming news on Chicks with Joysticks. Oh, well, all right, that's that's a low five. I was all right.